new tonight, authorities are considering new security measures to stop people from sending illegal drugs to inmates through the mail. Our chief investigative reporter Lynn Coano spoke with a lawyer who discovered he was targeted by someone trying to sneak meth into Hawaii's largest prison. The Department of Public Safety says they've had multiple similar incidents, attorneys unknowingly being used to help smuggle drugs into the facilities. Attorney Jonathan Burge was surprised when this large envelope arrived at his office. It had his return address stamped in the top corner. It was marked confidential to give the appearance it was legal correspondent for a client. But the package that was addressed to the Halava Correctional Facility was sent to an inmate he does not know who was not found in the prison. So it was sent back, returned to sender. When Burge's employee opened the package, there was a stack of paper on the front and back, and in the middle was that small cardboard guinea one, and it was cut out in the middle with the drugs stuck in the middle of that. Well, I was surprised and I was upset that they're using my name to, to get drugs in, and that's the reason why I called HPD right away to take it in. And, and when I thought about it, I go, how many times are they doing that? In a prison setting and even in a jail setting where we have no contact visitation, then how it's coming through, unfortunately, is more than likely it's being smuggled in uh, via the mail. It's unfortunate sometimes staff are involved. The Department of Public Safety has increased surprise sweeps in all the jails and prisons statewide. The most recent, Monday morning, when these canine units hit OCCC Module 18. No illegal drugs were found in this shakedown, but lots of other contraband, including vaping devices, batteries, unapproved clothes, and food were recovered. In other recent raids, meth and cocaine were found. Public safety says sometimes the mail is soaked in liquid meth or other illicit substances to sneak through the mail room. Burge, a former HPD officer, said he was surprised at how much meth fit into the package. Over an eighth of an ounce is the highest felony there is, so that's what it was. Assuming that it is meth, it looked like it. The Department of Corrections is considering scanning mail so prisoners get a digital copy and not the original. So they're getting innovative, but we're getting innovative as well. We're learning as we go. The case has been forwarded to HPD's Narcotics Vice Unit for investigation. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.